everybody, this is Cool Tools and I'm Beata. I'm a molecular biologist and I study how our cells divide. And I love what I do because I'm fascinated with the complexity of what we are made of and what makes life possible. So I'm trying to understand how different types of cells divide. And my research can help improve the way we treat cancer. Because cancer just means that your cell division gets out of control and cells start to divide too much. A good way to treat cancer would be to stop these cells from dividing too much. In our bodies, we have a lot of different types of cells. When a cell divides, it first has to copy its DNA and then pull it apart so that each new cell receives the correct set of DNA. We are in my she shed and here are my tools. I take pictures of cells and make fashion and drawings out of it. It's cool tools time. My tools are a microscope, there's some colorful fabric and beads, and there's pencil and paper. So in the lab, when I want to take a picture of cells, I need to add colorful dyes to make them glow. That is called fluorescence. How jellyfish glow in the dark, that's actually the same thing. So I add these different dyes, and then I can see the nucleus that holds the DNA, I can see the shape of the cells, and a lot of amazing structures. And the colors tell us, so some cells are dividing, some cells need a little bit more time to prepare, some cells are about to divide, so the colors can tell us this information. This video shows a time lapse of dividing cells. So when I want to see cells dividing, I put them under the microscope and I take a picture every five or every 10 minutes and then put it together into a movie. So the movie that you see is much faster than it's actually happening. Those pictures are actually not only amazing and interesting, but also really beautiful. So what I do is I print these real pictures of human cells on fabric and I make clothes and fashion out of it. And you can see all of these blue structures is actually the DNA. DNA is basically a very long molecule that contains all of the instructions for making us. The DNA consists of a sequence of letters that determines uh, everything about us. If you are twins, that means that you actually have the same DNA, but there's a lot of other things on top of that code that make you unique as well. I also love making science jewelry using all of these tools. There's beads, there is wire, and I need pliers. So here, for example, you can see a necklace that I made in the shape of DNA. And you can see it consists of two parts. One part is the outside, the blue and the pink is the backbone, there's sugars and phosphates and they hold everything together. The colors in the inside are the DNA bases and these represent the four letters of our genetic code. And then I use pencil and paper to create drawings inspired by all the beauty I see in the lab and under the microscope. I always loved science and I always loved art, but then after high school, I decided to study science because I really love the idea of being able to see something for the first time and discover something that people didn't know beforehand. The reason I love cell division is it's really complex, but also really fascinating. There's a lot of things we don't know, so there's a lot of things to discover. And I also love cell division because it's simply beautiful. It's just amazing to see cells separate from each other. It's amazing to see how the structure changes and how the colors change. If you love learning about how life works, but also have other passions like art or fashion or whatever it is that inspires you, go ahead and try to experiment and combine them and see what you can create. And nothing is too crazy to try, nothing is too much out of reach. You can create anything you want and you can combine your unique passions. And I can't wait to see what you create. Visit goldieblogs.com to explore the rest of Basecamp and work on earning your badges. Keep watching Goldie Blogs every Wednesday and Friday for more videos like this one. Click the link here to meet my pal Sydney who will show you how to make a rocket take off. Stay curious fellow campers! Special thank you to the Lider Hill philanthropist for making this episode possible.